All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Gears Tactics. This is going to be a bit of an odd duck for me, as I have actually never played any of the Gears of War games up until now. I have Gears 5, because Microsoft was kind enough to send that one to me, but I didn't really have a whole lot of inclination to play it, because I'd never played Gears 1 through 4. Uh, that said, Gears Tactics was announced last year at E3, and I was like, huh, that actually looks really cool. I'm not a big fan of, you know, third person. I, I like third person shooters, but I just didn't have the platform, so I never got into it like everybody else did. But I'm a huge fan of XCOM style games, as evidenced by the fact that I've been playing. I, I beat the entirety of Chimera Squad over the past three days and loved every minute of it up until it got a little bit of a to be a bit of a drag, but that's not a big deal. Anyway, so yeah, finding out that this is going to be an XCOM like, I'm like, oh, shoot. I'm super happy about this. And then finding out the Chimera Squad and Gears Tactics are coming out in the same week, effectively. Seven, seven day, same seven day period. It was like, what, five day period? It was Friday, right? Yeah, I don't know, too much. Uh, so I'm a little X calmed out, but let's see how this goes. So I'm just gonna dive right in and we'll figure out if I like this game. I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna be lazy. I'm, I'm an intermediate kind of guy. I wanna see things go big boom and I don't wanna, I don't wanna just get uber crit from halfway across the map by an outsider uh, taking out my only medic as everybody else is bleeding out and dying. That was my experience with trying to play XCOM on a harder difficulty. I was kicking ass up until that happened and then I stopped kicking ass ever. After years of endless war, humanity had finally found peace. Until Emergence Day. When a monstrous new enemy, black-hearted and savage, emerged from below and laid siege to our world. Our losses have been great. Our resolve is far greater. My fellow tyrants, today, the Coalition of Ordered Governments strikes back. These unclean beasts, these locusts, will advance no further. I, Chairman Prescott, have authorized a full planetary strike from our Hammer of Dawn weapons arsenal. On my order, the COG has placed infantry detachments in key cities to mop up any survivors. This is the only way. Chin up, Private. If you can survive Prescott's bullshit, you can survive anything. He's torching the whole world to kill the grubs, Sarge. Am I ever gonna see him again? I don't know. Shelter. Come on, join the party. You're gonna want to get that. Diaz. Special order, Sergeant. Proceed immediately to General Beckett's office at CIC to retrieve a classified document. Acknowledge. No, you've got the wrong gear. I just run the motor pool. You have your orders. Control out. And let me guess, you're coming too. Well, if you insist.
like we're on foot from here. CIC's up ahead. Focus troops inbound. Drones, I see them. Well, this is familiar. Get into cover, Diaz. You forget how to fight in the motor pool? Something like that. Okay, use mouse one to move Gabe into highlight cover. Oh, it's not tile based. That's interesting. I've got a clear line on this drone. Engaging now. Okay, one, shoot the guy, the AP. Seems pretty basic. Wow. Okay, that's Target gonna down. be a little loud. Got one more in range. Look, another XCOM like I need to catch up on. You probably Start with the start with the OG and make your way up. But yes, this is yet another XCOM like. Damn. I don't know what it is in. about this we month. We got a lot of them. Roger that. Moving into position. <laughs> He's easy pickings now. Okay, Tapcom gives you more information on your chance to hit. R for Tapcom. Okay, so you hit chance 100%, 65% crit chance, 250 damage, do 500 damage. Should have stayed underground, grub. So it looks like you do take less damage if you're behind cover. Might have to turn this back down a bit. Most abilities like moving and shooting require action. Some abilities, such as moving long distance, can cost multiple. Each unit has three actions you can split between moving, shooting, and the skills. The hammer strikes aren't going to wait for us. Finish off these grubs so we can get to the CIC. Won't even break a sweat. So yeah, <laughs> just wait, wander until the surprise rabbit game is announced for next week. Uh, you know, honestly, if we if we had a Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle like follow up remake kind of thing, well, not follow up, uh, Mario Changing Rabbids Two next week, I'd play it. I'd play the shit out of it. I'd be super happy with that. Hello. Okay, unfortunately he is most definitely not behind cover. That is not the thing I would have done. Oh, you can also check passive skills. When this unit kills an enemy, heal each ally for 4% of their maximum health. Hey, that's kind of nice. Let's see what they got. Let's see. Time to shred some grubs. So, bad chance. I, alternatively, I guess we could just shoot him a bunch of times. I got plenty of bullets. Die. There we go. Well, we took his arm off. All right, let's move. You got a name, soldier? Redburn. Sid Redburn. Tell me something, Sid Redburn. You clearly know where you're going. So why am I here? I guess someone up there likes you, Sergeant. I'm on it! Multiple wretches inbound. Take them out before they swarm us. Okay. Regeneration at the beginning of your turn heals 10% of its max HP. Dang, Sid. That's useful. Yeah. Still Turn learning the differences. Side. I'll overwatch him on this side. Okay, Overwatch will let lets your units shoot the enemy uh shoot during the enemy's turn. Unit will shoot once 
for each action they had when Overwatch was set. Well, that's that's a nice change of pace. Good. I'll cover the other side. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna take a little bit to get used to this. As I'll keep watch from this angle. It's similar to XCOM, but it's not quite the same. Scanning and it's gonna throw now. me off a little bit. Wrong move, shit stains. I appreciate how snappy the Overwatch feels, though. Like, having them come over the cover and come at me was actually really cool. I can't move until you disable their Overwatch. Okay, disabling shot. Guess I gotta do that. So is that the only thing I can do? No. Now we have to move forward. I kind of wish the tutorial was a little bit more free-flowing, but I also understand they're trying to teach me a bunch of new mechanics. Shoot the wretch. I am looking forward to ac actually having proper control over these things. Down. Time to finish off that drone. Enemies have a chance to be down when their health is depleted. Moving a unit onto a down enemy will execute them. Executing down enemies gives a bonus action to other friendly units. Ooh. They're. I'm not. I'm gonna get to monetize for this. Got something extra for that drone. Boop. <laughs> but yeah, the idea of free actions for a uh, for an execution is really cool. I'm looking forward to AP. This better be one hell of an important document we're after. Above our pay grade, Sergeant. Let's just get to the CIC before we're flash fried. I, I love the idea of AP abuse Affirmative. in this game. Because that's what I was doing in Chimera Squad, and it was really freaking cool being able to, like, deny enemies actions and, like, give myself extra AP and switch the order around and a bunch of other things. It looks like we take our turn and then they take theirs, so it's not exactly the same, obviously. Uh, but giving allies free AP... Terminated. That was gonna help. Nice try, there we asshole. go. <laughs> See, what are you gonna post this to YouTube with all the gore? Honestly, I might be okay. But what I could do is there's an option here to turn off all the gore somewhere. I don't remember where it is. Oh, there we go, gore. So I can just turn it off. I'm gonna. I, I'm honestly just gonna turn it off now, uh, before I I lose monetization. It's a little bit. All right, it's fine. But honestly, it looks kind of cheap to begin with. Need a reload. Do they just explode in confetti? I would love that. That'd be great. Like, I'm reloading. That was one of my favorite things about the Halo series is the confetti mode. Ah, uh, let's see. Do we have anything else? Nah. Where can we move him? I'm on it. Like I loved that What's about next? uh I loved that about the Halo Ammo's games, in. and I wish more games had that. Replace all of the uh all of the you know blood and gore effects and make it look silly instead for those of us that like can't stomach it. Cause I, I would hundred percent play through the entirety of the Gears of War franchise or any first person shooter. If they had extreme blood and gore, or extreme confetti, and, like, candy just flying out of things uh, when you shoot them. And it's like, yeah, you kind of know it's supposed to be this, like, Time bloody, gory mess. Legs. But instead, it's, like, cupcakes and, like, fireworks. And uh, obviously, like, it would still be a little grim, but it would be so cool. Oh, shoot. There are enemies still here. This was a horrible mistake. Handsy. 
This is gonna hurt. <laughs> I made a mistake. Oh, good. The game felt like it. Uh, not, scumbags. The game felt forgiving. This is good. Next. So you want pyrovision from TF2? Hundred percent. Oh, there's friendly fire. I am learning things today. Uh, is there a reload current checkpoint? Let's just do that. <laughs> let's let's go back for a second. I could maybe fix that, but at the same time, considering how quickly he went down, might be just safer. Ugh. Okay, so we don't see the enemies yet, but we do know they exist. Uh, I'm gonna move up slowly. Until we can see them. Okay. Looks like I don't have as good of a shot. So we want to get... Oh, that's neat. You can actually see where the movement is going to cost you more AP. Now let's yep, just stick moving. him right there and give him some overwatch. This is better. Because, yeah, some of these guys are going to come my direction. I don't think I get a grenade, which is unfortunate. I want some big booms. I wonder if there's co cover destruction in this game. I don't know if we've seen anything get destroyed yet. Maybe a little bit. But, yeah, the the uh, friendly fire is going to take some getting used to in this. Uh, as I have been shooting through my own, own teammates for, gosh, just a long time. There's a question. Oh, opportunity attack. So moving up to these guys is not actually a good idea. Hence the red circles around them. Makes sense. Okay, so this time I'm not going to charge it. Learning is fun. Taking damage hurts, but that's okay. But yeah, Into the CIC. I've been shooting through my own teammates for like the past couple of days in Chimera squads. So it's Breathe it's a down. little it's a little different. Weapons up. There we go. Got Reavers doing a flyby. Inside, go. Now, what are we looking for? The most classified looking file they got. <clears throat> the hell? Plenty of time to read that later. We're in for a fun ride, you and me. No. I told Prescott, I don't do that shit anymore. Time to go. Couldn't hide out in the motor pool forever, Diaz. Move! The hammer's closing in fast! Get back to the APC! Dropped off reinforcements. Here they come. Wretches. Here, we definitely get some kind of grenade. We don't have time for this. Clear them out with a frag grenade. Gladly. Wait, I have infinite frag grenades? 
I'm pressing F3. F3? Uh, oh, those are stim grenades. He is the one with the frag grenade. Okay. <laughs> I was confused. Wait, what? Throw a grenade. This is fiddly. Hi. Four for the price of one. Now let's kill the rest so we can evac. Okay, there we go. Let's see. Don't shoot him. Oh, can I? I guess I can only shoot him for some reason. Bunch of horse shit. Ah, that didn't work. Does he have line of sight? I guess we'll find out. The rule, the rules for this game are a little odd. The other guy just downed. I'm not entirely sure. I'd like well, that one back. not the best, but we got better cover than they do. He is going to get shot. He's not going to get shot very well. These guys are just overwatching. All right. Here. I let us fix this man. Okay. Go ahead. So he does not. He does not get the execution. Does not work over cover. Charge in a straight line. Exposed enemy. Kill them with a the bayonet. I guess we'll just shoot this guy. I don't think that's gonna. Oh. Got to reload. Okay, I'm good. That's interesting. So Overwatch, I should have just shot this guy. Popping out of Overwatch no or contact. popping out of cover counts as uh, as movement. I just realized there was a twelve percent chance to hit. Go figure. Is he gonna revive his ally? Nope. He is just gonna keep doing his thing. Here. All right. Can I? Uh, he is standing directly on top of his buddy, which is going to make this harder. <laughs> Sup, dude? How's it going? And I guess things were right here. Uh, hi? <laughs> well, that works, I guess. I'll give credit, that's not half bad. Now we just have darkness.
say one thing for Prescott. The man's thorough. Come on. Let's find a way back. To a goddamn crisp. Better hope our APC isn't torched too, or it's gonna be a long walk to the bunker. Well, it's still there. Dig in. Here they come. Let's get the show rolling. Equipment cases can be found during missions. Move on to a case to collect it after the mission. Check the case for powerful this rewards. Will be good for you, Diaz. Whatever you say. Don't play coy. You were flying up the ranks, then you bust yourself down to the motor pool? For what? To get the hell away from Prescott's missions. Alright, I'm gonna try fixing a thing real quick. Should help a little bit. Oh, that's that's a lot smoother. That's a lot smoother on my end. I don't know if you guys even even notice a difference, but from my perspective, night and day. Yep, moving. Requisition. Bet there's something in here worth the effort. Drops are on the move. See, this game is very I'm promising. I'm digging it. That it sounds like an emergence hole. Get up there. Grubs will be tunneling out soon. They're already back at it, huh? So much for Prescott's hammer strikes. It's one of those where... Uh, let's see. Go from that. What's a good piece of cover? I think it can... It's like it almost kind of glitches towards it, but it doesn't quite work. There's a bit much. Let's let's go for that cover. We should be able to just pop up from this. And pop from there. That should be okay. But yeah, I'm liking this a lot so far. They really managed to capture the spirit of Brown. <laughs> Something about spawns enemies each turn and close with explosives after first wave. We got locusts coming up from underground. Fair enough. <laughs> now, do they know where I? I'm assuming they know where I am. Put a e holes. In that emergence hole. If we don't close it, they'll just keep pouring out. You think this is the first e hole I've seen, Sergeant? I'm assuming I to just toss it in there. Boop. Dead end, assholes. Back to the retro launcher. Uh, retro lancer. There we go. So we got a couple of options. Probably shoot this guy in the butt. I succeeded. And then switch to the pistol. And take him out of Overwatch. Affirmative. Perfect. Okay. So, here's the question. Do you shoot this guy in the butt? Yes. Okay, this will only take one out of two. Yep. Yeah, if you're wondering why I don't have the gore on, it's because this is going on YouTube later, and I don't really want to deal with the, uh... I don't really want to deal with being demonetized. Also, it looked really kind of cheap. It's really funny, though, because it does look like you were just tickling them. Oh. I forgot to switch to the good gun. Well, whatever. Ow.
No, we got friends. And yeah, there's also orange in the color palette. Orange is a subset of brown. Oh, healing gas revives downed units. Oh. So doing anything triggers the overwatch. Okay, then. So I can't chainsaw again? <sighs> Alright, fine. We're just gonna leapfrog this man to death. Okay, switch back to this. We got some bad nicks over there. They're a fair bit away, though. We'll go. That was just the tickle saw. Hell yeah. I'd honestly probably be fine. I don't think I actually got demonetized for anything other than, like, one episode from Doom. Now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, switch back to him. Get rid of this guy again. <laughs> Tickle him to death. It's the tickle of war. Okay, that is... Is that the only guy that you can see? No, it absolutely is not. Seriously? Setting up a kill zone. All loaded up. All right. I guess we're just going to Overwatch because Overwatch is apparently kind of they never learn. freaking strong, actually. <laughs> oh, yeah, he was shooting the. He was shooting the wall. Showtime, All right. people. Ammo's in. Grab that. Don't have anything too much. Yeah, Overwatch is. Way more important in this game. What? Let's dance. Probably didn't need to do that, but that's okay. Full contact. Let's see, can your friend trigger Overwatch? Interesting question. Reporting in. I don't know. Proceeding on foot. I'm assuming not. That'd be pretty silly. Ready or not, scumbags. Okay, so he's starting to go down a little bit. Drops are on the move. We got more All friends. Right, we're up. We do not. Guns are good. I'm liking the Fog of War in sight range. That's not a half bad design choice. So there's sort of randomized gear. So we got a common power barrel, precision scope, power barrel again, and a case. Uh, the Righteous Man, Grub Slayer, we're getting achievements left and right. Look around, Diaz. War's not over. We need to talk about Prescott's mission. This Grub, name Zukon. Save it. I fix things now. And that's it. Shit. The bunker. No blast marks. This wasn't the hammer. No, it wasn't. This... 
was Ukon. I'm really glad this is a prequel because that's like, it's truly the best place they could have put this so you don't have to worry about like, what is going on? Where is this in the chronology? So this is the grease pit you traded your command for. Comms work in this dump at least? Let's hope not. Lieutenant Colonel Diaz, it's been too long. It's Sergeant now, Chairman. Hope this was worth dodging your hammer strikes for. Yes, well, I'm glad to see your time in the motor pool has indulged your talents. Open it. You're looking at the only known photos of a locust called Ukon, the enemy's resident geneticist, a monster who makes monsters. Corpses, Brumachs, his work. We need him eliminated. I don't run ops anymore. Not after Gekka Ridge. Sulking won't undo the past, Diaz. You want to save lives today? Stop squandering your tactical gifts and take Ukon down before he creates something even worse. I can't offer you much. No personnel, no resupply. Hold up. If this grub's as dangerous as you say, I need equipment. Soldiers. An army. Oh, you always were resourceful. Recruit whatever gears you find and figure out the rest. As for your incident in Gatka, try to do better this time. A heartwarming reunion. If we do this, you work for me, not Prescott. Got it? You're the boss, motor pool. Come on. Let's find some more gears. Cool. Okay, convoy is your mobile base of operations. Use the home screen to open the equipment cases for upgrades. Recruit new troops when they're available. Barracks to customize your units. Mission screen to launch new missions. And we get Thrashball Coal because I quote-unquote pre-ordered this game. Uh, they'll join me in Chapter 4, though. All right, well, we got a new reward to claim. Common case. Passive skill Swift. Retro Lancer mod. The unit act oh when the unit takes a shot, it gets a five percent chance to receive one action. Hmm. Alright. That's kinda good. Okay, uh let's see. So no recruits available. Balls. We get a passive skill, career stats. Alright, passive skills. Command, no. How do we level them up? Skill tree, here we go. Units gain skill points as they level up. Spend skill points to unlock new passive and active skills. You'll get reset, uh, reset tokens by completing campaign missions. Spending a reset token will refund a character's skill points. So I must... Uh, he's got Surgeon and Paragon. Target ally gains an action, but costs him an action. Or he'll target ally for 100 health. Now let's take a look. What else do we have? Realistically... We probably want a medic more than anything else. His teamwork abilities are kind of neat, though. Let's see. I'm just trying to quickly zip through some of these. Throw stem grenade ability is reduced by two turns. Heal each ally for 100 health. 
Long cooldowns, but still useful. Oh. Recovery patch. Heal target ally for 100 health at the end of your turn for three turns. Dang. Yeah, we're going full medic on this guy. At least for now. Uh, let's see. So he's got one more point available. Reduce stim grenade. Commander has its healing effect increased. To 7%. Tempting. I might want to go for triage, though. Eh. Maybe. Now let's go for command. That one's easy and I don't have to think about it. Okay, so he's got Warden and Shock Trooper. Intimidate. Enemies within 10 meters are removed from cover and interrupted. I wonder if you can actually use Intimidate in conjunction with um, Overwatch. Pop a bunch of guys out and shoot them immediately. What else does he have? Better regen. Weakens enemies that he shoots. Enemies damaged by a shot by this unit. Wait. When an enemy is damaged by a shot from this unit, this unit... Oh! So, he can go full vamp mode and heal himself. I don't know if we need that as much if I'm going to have Gabe go healing. Then again, target enemy will try and attack this unit in the next turn. Self-revive. That sounds fun. When this unit is in the down state at the beginning of your turn, he just gets back up. Doesn't seem like it has any kind of limitations either. <laughs> Allies within 8 meters also gain life leech for the turn. So, interestingly enough, yeah, we could actually have two sort of medic... Characters stand together. Downed allies within 10 meters are revived. Allies within 10 meters get extra damage reduction. Let's see, what else do we have? Ooh, within the within, within the effective range, it's extra crit chance. Uh, let's see. When you crit, they bleed. When an ally takes damage, this unit gets extra damage for a turn, up to four stacks. And when they're down, we get a full action. Ooh. Let's see. All allies within five meters gain the breach status effect. Allies who shoot or kill a breach enemy. Ooh. Breach is fun. Let's go. Let's go intimidate and enraged bayonet. I want to get him free bayonet. And then we'll go up the uh, the list. Okay, so how do we change their equipment? Because this is skill tree, Sid. Okay. So it looks like we can kind of change some of some of these things. Oh man. Oh. <laughs> uh, hell yeah. A Sid. You absolute grunt, grump. I hope you enjoy being pretty. Do gunmetal. Alright, that's upper. Wait, can I just... Can I change all of... <laughs> can I just change... Oh, gosh. You could change a lot of this stuff. Why? Uh, I guess I could just have that. The character, like, visual customization is actually kind of impressive. Uh, anyway, yeah. The, the Easter Sid has arrived a little late not to deliver uh, eggs, but bullets. Oh, can I even change? Oh. 
So we can even change the equipment around too. So he's got the veteran leg guards, which give extra health. There's the cadet shin guards. And then there's regulation boot. Okay. There's a lot to this. There's also a pattern that I could apply. I don't think I really care too much for patterns. I might mess mess with this later. Honestly, I think I might do character customization off camera entirely. Holy crap. All right. Barrels. So, Swift. Takes a shot. Extra chance to get another action. Uh, there's also the power barrel for the bonus damage. Do we want the 5% chance or just a little bit more oomph? Let's go for the extra damage. We'll give Gabe the... Uh... Oh. He's the only one that can have the light barrel. Because it's... It's Retro Lancer anyway. Alright, there's also... Uh, hmm. Oh, so it, it really does depend which gun you're using, too. Boy. Boy, howdy. Alright, let's go back to this. Sid just likes Fuchsia. Don't don't question him. That's, that's just how he functions. And he was using... Was it Chrome? Was it Chrome? Because Chrome is maybe a little bit too much. I don't remember what I was using for his... Beat. Okay. So can I give him a helmet? Hiding a helmet will keep bonuses active. I don't think we have any helmets, so I don't think we can worry about it. Alright. I'm gonna say that's probably good enough for now. I'll do more of this later. Uh... <laughs> I love the idea of just Sid being this... This just beautiful man. Alright, missions. What do we got? Left Behind. Gets me... Three things, three common weapon mods, common armor, no modifiers. So it doesn't look like there is a... Ooh, wait. Reset progress? Huh. So maybe you can kind of start the game over New Game Plus style-ish? Uh, let's see. But yeah, it doesn't look like there's any kind of, like... Avatar timer or anything like that from XCOM. There's probably just going to be main story missions and then side missions eventually. Alright, left behind, complete the mission without a gear being downed or killed. It's going to take an army to kill Ukon, but Prescott refuses to send support. Head to the nearest forward operating base and recruit more gears. Looks like we're good. Deploy. <laughs> That's what you get for being a grump, Sid. That's what you get All for making me do this. Our recruiting options are thin. Our best bet for gears is Echo 5, a mop-up unit stationed nearby. Let's pay him a visit. Oh, this is going to show up in cutscenes, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Thank you, Unicorn Power, for the 10-month resub. That is the most appropriate, appropriate timing ever.